Hello everyone, um, today I am going to be talking about Crouchy Tiger Hidden Dragon and yes, um, this particular film has been known for its action sequences and its martial arts and I think there's a fairly good reason for it. I mean, the choreography in this movie I think is really well done for what it is and I think it tries to sort of draw us into this kind of a world. Although at the same time, some of the choreography I actually found to be a little bit amusing at times. Like, you'll see how they kind of jump off of things and like they leap into the sky and you think, wait, that how does that make any sense? Um, so it, it can be maybe distracting for some people, but uh, just to let you know, that's kind of what this movie has been known for, and I think what a lot of people remember this movie from, in particular, is just the choreography. Now, as to a little bit of the characters in this movie, we have Lee Mu Bai, who's played by Chao Young Fat, who is probably a f famous uh, Asian actor, as well as Michelle Yeoh, who we saw previously in Memoirs of the Geisha, and she plays Yu Su Lin. And we also have uh, Zhang Ziyi, who also plays a character named Jen Yu. And then we have the antagonist, Jade Fox, who's played by Cheng Pei Pei. Um, so basically, what this movie is trying to um, kind of address in the form of a plot is, is, is that it's trying to uh, structure things in particular I think around sort of Gen Yu's character even though there are some bits between Yu Su Lane and Li Mubai but really what kind of moves this plot is really Gen Yu um, and Gen Yu in particular is a daughter of a governor and a Manchu aristocrat and uh, just so people know this takes place in China um, and what it's trying to um, address is sort of these kinds of issues um, in particular during uh, sort of ancient China and one of those issues being is, is that um, marriage was a big thing for, for the woman to do and Z Z Zhen Yu you'll see is someone who really doesn't really want to follow that path and she would rather follow um, the path of like a warrior someone who does fighting and so she ends up being sort of uh, drawn to the antagonist Jade Fox and you'll kind of see how um, uh, Chao Young Fat and Michelle Yeoh's character come into play as they are basically our two main protagonists in this movie and basically uh, Li Yuba is a Wudong warrior and he sees a lot of potential in Gen Yu and he tries to sort of persuade her to come to his side um, but sometimes that attempt fails because she is kind of, um, feels like that she can do her own thing and that she doesn't really need somebody to really guide her. Um, you'll see that Jen Yu's character in particular is fairly independent. Uh, she is a warrior type ish girl. <laughs> um, and you'll also see that Yu Su Lin's character sort of plays the sort of love interest of Li Mu Bai even though it's really fairly underplayed and you don't really see much of them together but you do get a sense of what the two protagonists sort of represent and how they have this kind of a balance and Jen Yu doesn't really seem to have that because she seems just so aggressive at times. Um, and you'll kind of see how this, this plays out. Um, she she is she's feisty um, and and interesting, and I and I think that's good. I think that they try to keep the characters engaging for the most part. Um, even though Jen Yu is really the main focus here, 
there's also some other characters as well, but I don't really think they play any much of the significance onto um, so much of the plot. However, you will see them come into play, um, and you, you'll kind of see how it all revolves around um, Gen Yu, the antagonist, and the other two protagonists being Mu Bai and Yu Su Lane. And you'll see how ultimately uh, Jen Yu is, is sort of challenged at times. Um, and, and you'll see how she's fairly independent. Um, but at the same time, she doesn't really seem to know how to uh, control her um, independence and sh she kind of has a tendency to sort of rebel against what everybody says and does so you, you'll kind of see how that plays out but for the most part I don't really want to give so much away because um, it's not necessarily so much plot driven but it is from what I can tell you basically how the plot kind of goes um, but basically Jade Fox is a, is a, is a woman and she w wants to be brought to learn the Wudong skills and ultimately she has some conflict with the Mubai and then that's kind of how the plot sort of tries to structure itself and, and you'll see this as you watch the film um, but again, I don't really want to give so much away because I don't want to really spoil it and yeah, there's just kind of a lot of things in this movie that just sort of get kind of revealed of themselves, but basically that's really kind of all you need to know going into it. It's just a, a film trying to focus on Gen Yu and then how everybody else sort of plays into uh, her rebellious nature and how that kind of moves the plot in different directions. So for the most part, I think that's really all I can say as, as far as plot-wise. Um, the acting is decent, um, and this is actually, um, this film is actually based on the fourth novel in a pentology by Wu-Vai novelist Wang Duru. So, uh, again, another one of those things where movies try to take the books, um, and for the most part, I, I, I have to say that it's kind of um, interesting to, to watch this film, in particular to watch it with subtitles, because that's the film that I got, with subtitles, so it's... Um, it is basically the character speaking a form of Chinese and it, it is a little bit hard for me at least to kind of um, uh, sort of really understand the, the culture um, behind certain things because as a, uh, someone who's grown up in a Western culture I think it's, it's sort of difficult to understand bits um, especially, especially like the way way end, like I did not get that at all. Um, and from what I could look and research from, um, I didn't, I didn't really find an explanation for that. And, and I just thought it was just so odd and, and I don't understand it. Um, and so, I mean, I get really what the film is trying to say to me, but sometimes I'm just... I just don't know what certain things really mean necessarily, um, and you know why they had to, why the the uh, choreographer or the person who tries to design these movies designs them around them like kind of hopping and and moving in this certain way. Um, I, I just don't really I just don't get it. For, for sometimes it it's it's. Sometimes for me it's a little bit laughable because I just look at it and go, it's it's like they're on the moon or something. <laughs> it's not like they're on planet Earth. Um, so that's it's kind of interesting to, to, to see that. Um, 
it's it's just one of those films where you know you get to an action scene and you do feel invested for the most part um, and I, I think as far as I can tell I think it is a decent film it has been recognized as one of um, one of the best probably foreign films uh, and in particular for its for it for the fighting um, this this film with its fighting is very quick um, and I, I think even people still I think recognize this movie um, I, I think this movie is fairly familiar for a lot of people um, I guess what I can say by my reasoning by not putting it as a classic is maybe just because um, it's, it's, it's maybe a classic to, um, uh, oriental culture, Asian culture, um, but for me, it's, it do, it doesn't really, um, resonate with, with me so much. Um, not that I'm saying that it is, um, a bad film. I think it is an okay film. Uh, for a foreign, uh, filmmaker, this is, this is one of the best, probably. But I, I just don't really see it being so, so, um, memorable or interesting that I would put it as just so, so great. Um, and that's why I kind of just put it as a regular film. But that doesn't mean it's any worse or any better as a classic. I just don't think we, in particular, I think we know the name of this movie, but I don't think we really know much else, or um, we, we don't really associate, uh, uh, in particular, with this movie, I think, as far as Western culture is concerned. Um, but probably in Eastern culture, Asian culture, it, it's probably considered um, one, of their, one of their best, and I think that's very understandable. Um, but for me, as, as, as from what I can say, is, is that to me it, it's good, but I think it's just so, I think it can just be a little bit so out there at times that I don't, it's it's hard for me to kind of get invested or take it seriously, um, and I think that's partly because of some of, some of the fighting and how I'm not really used to it, um, but I do I still admire this, this film for, for putting, um, this effort into tr trying to uh, convey and show this kind of fighting, um, style, and, and it's really good, I mean, it's, it's, it's well handled, and, um, yeah, it's just, I, it's just, I don't really, s I identify it with it so much as a, um, as a film that can be considered within this, this, this cl classic kind of category. I just think it's it's just qualified differently. I, I think it's it's just a film, just another f good foreign film. Um, and there's been other good foreign films too, like The Lives of Others, which is a German film, which is, even though it moves rather slow, um, is another really good foreign film that I would recommend. Um, so for me, these kinds of films, um, particularly foreign films, I, it's it's hard for me because I I don't really necessarily remember them so much as I do Hollywood esque type films. Um, but I'm sure that for some other people they may be classified as a classic. Uh, but for me, I, I just I just didn't really grow up with it. I didn't really remember much of it, but I just kind of remember the name 
but as far as everything else is concerned, I'm not really um, so, so in love with this film. I think it is a, a decent film. Um, but as far as putting it anything higher, I just can't really do that because because it isn't really for me. It might be for some other people like that, but it's not like that for me. But that's not to say it's any worse or any better than a classic. I just don't put it in that category. Um, again, that's, th that's the whole point with my classic movie and regular movie. I don't, I don't put uh, the classics higher. I just recognize them as a classic or not. But that doesn't make it any better or any worse. Again, it's just, it's just a different categorization. Um, but I think for, for what it shows and what I've explained to basically how of what little plot I can give you without really spoiling anything, um, that's really, I think, all I can say. But uh, any questions, comments, concerns, more than happy to answer them. And also before I go, um, there has been other chat or other uh, Asian films that I think have explored this kind of style where they just jump a little bit and you'll see this in the in the film when you watch it they do this kind of jumping thing um, so I, I think it's it's kind of maybe in, in that respects can be regarded as a film who maybe even sort of I think kind of allowed that this kind of a trend to kind of continue in certain Asian films, which is which is fairly nice. I think it's nice to see this this kind of action, even though for sometimes for me it, it's I'm just not used to it, so it just looks so odd at times. Um, but I would definitely recommend it if you're interested in foreign films, uh, if you're interested in films that are spoken in a different language. I mean, it was it was interesting to hear. Chinese. Um, it, it was. It was. It was interesting to just hear with the subtitles and um, actually hear what um, what a particular uh, a particular Asian language sounds like. Um, I thought that was really cool, and and I kind of liked how they did the same thing with Iwo Jima, where they did Japanese um, and put English subtitles. But uh, yeah, I think this is really all I can say. It's a, it's a, it's a good f foreign film, and I definitely recommend people to check it out. And again, it's got stars from Memoirs of a Geisha. If you like Memoirs of a Geisha, you'll probably be into this kind of kind of a thing. Um, it does have more action in it than Memoirs of a Geisha, obviously, but and a different kind of tone to it, and it's definitely worth considering. So. Um, definitely recommendable in my book. Any questions, comments, concerns, more than happy to answer them. And until next time, bye-bye, everybody.